All right. You guys, that felt uh, good for our players. Uh, certainly a little bit of the monkey off our back to end that five game losing streak. And there was no magic formula. There was no one reason why we were in that losing streak. Um, and there wasn't gonna be one, any magic uh, formula to get us out of that losing streak. Uh, you saw a collective effort tonight of great energy. Uh, you saw um, a team that really, really played hard at the defensive end. We continue to have good third quarters defensively. Um, and we weathered, uh, uh, in stretches, another tough shooting night. But we weathered that with our defense. We had three people with double-figure rebounders, uh, double-figure and rebounds. Um, and again, it, it was just a collective fight tonight to stay in plays. Um, and really proud of them. That, that's a good team. And, the energy that they must have having Diana back for the first time all season uh, for us uh, to beat Phoenix, um, you know, is big for us. Um, I'll, I'll tell you this, like the interesting thing, uh, and I feel more, uh, I feel uh, more disappointed for my assistant coaches than myself, but it took an earthquake for us not to be the all-star coaches with our win tonight because it would be decided tonight. And regardless of who would have lost that earthquake game, we would have been the all-star coaches. And I feel disappointed that I can't get my assistants out to Vegas. We take ownership that that five game losing streak didn't help. But if without that earthquake game and that game was completed, we would be the all-star coaches. So I feel bad I can't get my assistants out there, but I'm, I'm proud of them that we are in that uh, position at all. Lastly, um, I want to talk about Pride Night obviously something very special to me and the word that i'd like to say is that our players could care less um who i love um in in particular and and i take that back they do care who i love they care that i love them but away from the court and away from that locker room they could care less who i love and that goes for everybody in that locker room. And, and uh, you know, it's a special night when we get to celebrate pride here at Connecticut, but also league-wide in the WNBA. Um, and uh, I really, it's special to me, and it's special to our team, and it's special to our franchise, and it's special to our league. And so um, to win on pride night makes it ex extra special for me. Uh, first of all, do you love Amber? I do love Amber. <laughs> Um, was there a, was it, was it in your mind to write 18 jazz as much as you did second half? Was they really vlogged a lot of minutes for you? Yeah, and in, in, in Morgan gave us good minutes um, in the first half. Mm -hmm. And we just were on such a roll in the third quarter that I didn't want to um, change any kind of momentum, just subbing the sub. Right. So I kept asking them every time out at the end of the third quarter, do you have a little bit more? Do you have a little bit more? And they said they were fine. And again, it's a TV game, a little bit longer timeouts. Everything gets extended a little bit. So, it, you know, we got a little bit of break that way. Sancho's injury gave you another break. So we, we rode them, uh, but it wasn't, any, it wasn't lack of confidence with our bench. I thought they gave us really good minutes when they were in. Especially great. Huh? Yeah, we told Bria afterwards, I can't repeat it exactly the way I said it, but um, I told Bria that's the Bria that we traded for two years ago. And it's coming, and every game it's getting, uh, we see more and more the Bria that we saw in Atlanta, her rookie year and her second year average over seven points a game. And uh, you see the explosiveness and her ability to get to the rim. Um, you know, you just, She's finally getting back to her old self, and it's fun to see because that's who we traded for. How much of a relief just to get away from that five-game losing streak? Yeah, just, you know, just, again, we had game slippage. We had some game plans that we missed assignments. We missed shots and stretches. I mean, we had a possession where we missed five shots. Um, so, you know, it, it, but, you, you know, like, it just, they needed a win so badly for their own confidence. And, you know, with Vegas and Washington playing tomorrow, um, by the end of tomorrow, we'll be in second, regardless of who wins that game. 
will be in sole possession of second place by the end of tomorrow. So we're one game away from being at the midway point and we're in second place. So uh, we got to learn from that stretch of losses. We can't string that many losses together again. Uh, but um, after 16 games, we're in second place. So, um, you know, we just got to continue to keep fighting the second half of the season now. Your motor there with 18 in the second half really gave you guys a piece of that. I'll say 16 more points. Pardon me? I'll say 16 points that half should you probably know better than I do. Yeah, they got 16 to 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, she just was in attack mode again. We we liked our shots we were getting in the first quarter. We liked our shots we were getting in the first half. We just weren't re re rewarding ourselves. Um, and my staff, you know, just did a tremendous job continuing to, you know, tell them that those are going to fall and believe it. We like what we're doing offensively. We're moving them. And... Uh, those shots are going to fall, and they needed to hear that positivity from my staff because that's not always how I'm wired. Right. And Courtney seems to be one of those right now. The a little encouragement. Seems like her shot right now is sort of in. Yeah, and again, you know, she was over. Yeah, over early, but she made some big, timely pull-ups in the second half, and and she got. I mean, she. I think she was scoreless at halftime. So, I mean, she got going and scored in double figures in the second half, too, and we really need that out of her.